Hey yo, what's going on guys, Andrew Reggie here, welcome to Getting Over It. I know, I've watched a lot of people play this game on YouTube, and I've wanted to play it for a little while, but I finally got around to playing it for you guys. This is supposed to be a really rage-inducing game, and as you guys know, if you guys have ever seen my Call of Duty videos, you guys know that I get really mad really easily. So let's just hop right in, I hope I don't get too angry at this game, but... You never know, man, you never know. Basically, if you don't know what this game is... You're just a man in a pot, and you just have to go to the end with your mouse, and you just swing this little hammer around the whole time. Apparently, it's supposed to be really rage-inducing. How do I... Oh, Jesus. Can I... Whoa, Jesus Christ. All right, all right. I feel like my mouse isn't sensitive enough for this. Ah, oh, shit. Oh no. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, dude. I don't know. How did that even happen? I wasn't even looking at the screen. I don't even know what just happened. Jesus Christ. I don't feel like my mouse is sensitive enough for this. Or something's not happening here. Let me turn this down. There's no feeling more intense than starting over. All right, you can fuck off already. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute, if you won some money at the casino and then put all your winnings on red but it came up black, if you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped food on it, if you won an argument with a friend and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view, Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. <gasps> oh no. I just whip myself over? How do I... Pull myself in. Pull myself in, damn it. Pull myself in! Oh wait. I did it! Okay. Alright, I got past the first obstacle. That tree took way longer than it should have, I tell you that. Come on, man! What are you... Come on! It's so hard to control! Alright. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay! Alright. Okay. Okay. Can I? All right. Thanks for coming with me on this trip. I'll understand if this you guy's have to take piss a break me at off. any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. Don't worry. I'll save your progress always, even your mistakes. Oh, <laughs> no, no dude. Frustration. A real punch in the gut. God, this guy. Why is my- he's not even moving, man. No! Oh, oh my god, bro. Alright. I can already tell this game is not gonna be fun in like 20 minutes when I'm done recording this. Or an hour, however long it takes me to make this video. I don't have a good enough mouse for this, man. Alright, that was pretty good. Okay, okay. Alright. Just chill out. Just chill. Just hang on. Pull up your sledgehammer, man. Can I reach that up there? Can I reach it all the way to the top, or what? Can I just pull myself in? This oh, game I did is it. a homage to a free oh, no, 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 no. Oh, sexy hiking. The author of that game was Jazuo, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B-games. And B-games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. <sighs> this is gonna get real old real fast, I can already tell. Come on, man! Jesus. 
It's like, it just doesn't control well. Like it's... Ah! Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> if I'd have flown over top of that, I'd have been pissed. I'm laughing now, but... Wait until I get to like the top, and I... Go all the way back down to the bottom, and then I won't be laughing, and then I'll be pissed. I don't even know how that just happened, but whatever, I'll take it. Let's fling myself. Oh, come on, man. Can I reach that over there? Oh, of course I can't. Oh, Jesus, I can't be swinging my mouse around like this. Okay. Just tease it. Just tease it a little bit. Tease it. Push yourself just a small bit towards the edge. Don't push yourself off, though. Alright. Now see if you can reach it. Can you reach the top? Hell yeah, you can. It's alright! It fell off anyway. Alright, saved it. Alright. No! <laughs> Sorry about that. Shut your fucking mouth, pussy. How do I? Oh, just like this. Up, up, up! Oh my God, man! <sighs> I'm gonna fucking lose it, dude. Whoop! Whoop! Like, okay. Let me go on a little rant here. I've only been playing for like 10 minutes. Not even, how long? Yeah, about like 5 minutes. But. Games like this. They're not like hard to play. They're not hard to play at all. But they just control so piss poorly. That it makes it just hard to play. Like sometimes when you're swinging this hammer. He doesn't even swing it. Just, Alright, simmer the fuck down, pussy. He's gonna fall if I yank him up like this, I think. Shitty. What if I fling myself like this? Whoop! Oh, that was clean. Okay. Okay, we got up to the house. No, 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 no. Just simmer the fuck down. All right. Oh, okay. Whew. We got past the house. We got past the house. All right. Okay. All right. Settle down, man. Jesus. Put the hammer down towards the ground. Fling! All right. All right. Now that I saw what's up there, I can... In a certain way, sexy hiking is the perfect embodiment of a bee game. It's built almost entirely out of bound and recycled parts. And it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly, in danger of falling and losing everything. <laughs> what?! <laughs> <laughs> How does that even happen? I'm not even mad, bro. I was trying so hard. Whoa, 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 you can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. The obstacles in sexy hiking are real, and that makes the game uniquely frustrating. Oh my god! But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. 
A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them, and it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. No, I just... Yeet! Whoa, 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 no! <laughs> no! I'm trying. Don't let it get to you. Alright, guys. I know it's kind of an abrupt ending to the video after that last little... That last little upset little moment that you guys saw. I don't really know what to call it, but... I kind of underestimated the amount of editing that needed to be done for these videos. It's not a whole lot of editing because I'm talking a lot, and there's not a lot that I can cut out. So I had about an hour's worth of this game recorded, but the first 45 minutes was all one clip, and I was gonna like, yeah, I can edit this down to like 10 or 15 minutes, but I barely edited anything out of it. So I'm gonna end the episode right here. It'll pick back up. There won't be any intro. I might make an intro myself for the next video, but there won't be any actual intro at the start of the video. But if you guys liked the video, feel free to leave a like. Go ahead and watch any other Rage games or Call of Duty videos that I'm gonna be uploading. As always, people, this is Andrew G. Later.